Ryan Air Flight had to make an emergency landing after the cabin filled with thick smoke just after takeoff. I would have been shitting myself if I was on that plane. Hundred percent. I don't have. I don't have to surprise. Uh, surprise you. I don't have to try and give the brave one on this one. Thick smoke coming into the cockpit. Everyone was screaming and whatever. There was 100, 169 passengers and four crew members on there, and they had to do an emergency land uh, emergency landing um, at the capital Bucharest or something or other. Um, everyone was scared but unharmed. Um, so it just filled like I I'd have, oh, I'd have might have, if I was pissed I might have felt like I was um, in a club you know when the smoke machine goes off and just fills the room and you can't see nothing for a while and then all of a sudden it dies down a bit but I don't think that's going to be quite the same on, on a plane and the passengers also complained that the crew did little to calm things down you know why because they were shitting themselves as well how can you walk around going calm down it's all right don't worry because they're sitting at the front fucking chewing their fingernails thinking, shit, man, this plane's going down. Very hard to sort of pretend to uh, pretend to keep pretend to keep calm when like you, you're thinking we're dead here, 100 percent. You know, they might have never, ever experienced that ever. And all of a sudden that's happened. They're going to be as scared as any passenger, aren't they? Um, I see a lot of compensation claims going in there. Under, the the passengers just think just start seeing pound signs that they I don't know what the thing is oh, you get delays and that you get compensation for delays don't know if you can get is that classed as a delay if it's an emergency landing because you're not going to get to your proper place on time are you I think there's maybe it's one of them ones where it's out of uh, anybody's control depends on what caused the smoke might be the the pilot with a big massive fucking reefer going fuck it. You know, I'm I'm leaving tomorrow. I'm just going to have a massive big joint in the in the cockpit, and the smoke's all just all bellowed back. Saying that, that should have chilled the passengers out, not uh, not fucking sent them on a mad one.